Okay, so we've been doing a one point perspective. These are solid boxes. We've also been doing hollow boxes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and render some solid boxes by making a shadow box. Now, some of us have done this already. So, what you need to do is you put a couple of parallel lines and divide that into five. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? So this is called a shadow box. So, and this is the one, two, three, four, and number five. A good idea is maybe to use a colored pencil or you can just use your normal pencil and turn it and try and get the sharp part of the pencil lying pretty flat. And it's lightly going all the way to dark. Now you might want to try and put a couple of bits of paper underneath so whatever you're leaning on doesn't come through like the table. But however, so lightly to start with, and what we're going to do is just go lightly and then keep going all the way down. But what you want to do is just start leaning a little bit harder and going over it a couple more times. Keep going down the way. You can maybe see a little bit of the table coming through there, but it's okay. Keep going all the way down. Now, you want to start going a little bit darker on number three. And then going over number four more than once. So there's a distinction. And then five, I'm pressing pretty hard and I'm going to go over it and over and over it. So, it looks like a distinction between one, two, three, four, and five. Now, to make it obvious, let's line in what we've got so far. Now, what you're looking for is one, two, three, four, five, distinct, gradual. All right? Now, we can transfer that to something I've drawn already, but it's an exact copy of what we've done already in drawing number one with the four boxes, but we're going one point perspective rendering where the middle vanishing point can be the light source. So number one is going to probably hit that one or that one first. And it'd be one, three and five, one, three and five, and one, three and five, etc. Now you can use your pencil or you can use a different color it's up to you. And you can use your finger or even your ruler to make it not go over the edges. So lightly for maybe number one. And you can turn it around to try and get it going for number three, because you want to do one, three and five. So use my, my finger to stop it going over the edges. If it goes over the edges a little bit, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going over it and 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 over it until I get what I'm after. I can maybe just go across the way a little bit as well. And then lastly, we can put number five on. Now I want to try and get as much of the lead down as possible and render. You can see how I'm going across it and across it and across it like that. And it's hitting my finger and I can turn it round again and try and go over it over it and over it and over it and make it a lot, lot darker. So again, there's a big difference between one, three and five if you're numbering the sides. Now when you're finished, it's quite good to go around it just the outsides. Like that. And if you firm up the edges, then you're going to get your render. Okay? Now I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to colour in the rest of them or render the rest of them to make it look 1, 3, and 5, the same as my shadow box. Okay, okay? So you join me again and I'm just about finished this one. And you see what I'm doing here? Just trying to make it a little bit darker. And you can see I'm using my finger to stop me going really over the edges. 
and then lastly I'm going to try and get this one a little bit darker. So darker, 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 and you can see the lines of the table coming through a little bit, that's alright. And a little bit darker again. Now it doesn't work unless you have a sharp pencil, so you need to use a sharpener to try and get it. And go around it and outline it. Just the outside edges. So what we're doing is just finishing it. So, a distinction between light and dark lines is really important. Because if your other lines were too dark, then it wouldn't look how it should. So what you're after, try a shadow box. You can use a normal pencil or a coloured pencil. There's a normal pencil and coloured pencils and they're all outlined. And there's a distinction between light and dark lines. These lines going back, the construction lines are very light. Okay, so have a go at that.